after years of hearing about the beauty of Grayson Highlands, I was finally about to experience it for myself. As I made my way further into the park and further along the Appalachian Trail, I could tell this was about to be an unforgettable adventure. Please listen carefully. Petting, feeding, and harassing the ponies is prohibited. Visitors are welcome to photograph and observe them from a safe distance. I would gladly abide by these rules. The thing is, I have to encounter some ponies first. And so far, I hadn't seen a single one. Then, when I least expect it, along comes this guy. You probably can't see, but he's got a friend in the bushes. I was prepared to face some pretty heavy winds tonight, but this, this was something fierce.
every time I'd get a flame started, another dust would come along and extinguish it. One last ditch effort before throwing in the towel. Thankfully, my prayers for a fire were heard, and I didn't need to take cover in the tent the rest of the night. I conducted my entire morning routine from inside the tent. I was cold, tired, and a little bit seasick. This was not how I envisioned things going. I'll be honest, I was flirting with the idea of just going back to the trailhead. It was tempting, but it's not every day I get to backpack Grayson Highlands. This was worth putting on my big girl windbreaker for and facing the elements. If there's anything backpacking has taught me over the years, it's a little perseverance goes a long way. Orchard Shelter, I parted ways with the Appalachian Trail. But just for a little while. Aside from slogging through mud and almost losing a shoe. My time hiking in Lewis Fork Wilderness was really pleasant.
after reuniting with the AT, I hit some of the toughest terrain of the day. I originally planned to camp somewhere around here, but after accidentally wrecking my bag hanging kit, I was gonna need to get to a bear box tonight. Besides, it was still early and I had a few more miles in me. but not enough to make a side trip up Mount Rogers. Maybe next time. At Thomas Knob Shelter, I stopped to have a look around. This was a lot cleaner than the last two-story shelter I'd seen. But with how cold it got the night before, the no fire rule was kind of a deal breaker. I still haven't told you the backstory with these guys. Well, the ponies were introduced in the 1970s as a way to keep the vaults from reforesting. Think of them as a four-legged landscaping crew. If you trace the area's history back even further, you'll find it was once a settlement. Parts of the park are actually named after folks that lived and worked off the land, like Massey Gap, Wilburn Ridge. You get the picture.
the thick cloud cover this morning gave me a great excuse to sleep in. And take my time breaking camp. Once that fog rolled out, it was time for me to do the same. Just one thing I had to do first. Set a good example. Doing the right thing. Taking this loop counterclockwise, I saved the best scenery for last. The downside, it was so incredible, I didn't want to leave. So I tried to make every minute last twice as long and take each step in slow motion. These words are, these words are shades of pink and they're on the diagonal.
but it had to end sometime. Grayson Highlands is a backpacker's dream. Breathtaking scenery, unique wildlife, ample opportunities for adventure, and an endless list of reasons to come back.